Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt over here, Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. Well, today we're answering a question that kind of comes from an email that I received the other day from a guy who's in his mid-20s, and basically he's been an athlete his whole life, and he just started picking up the shot put and throwing shot just a little while ago. And basically, he's having an issue because after he takes about 15 to 20 throws, he starts to really fatigue and his form and his technique starts to fall apart. And he was wondering sort of what he can do to help improve um, you know, his throws even though he's getting tired after 15, 20 throws. And the answer that it gave him, basically the, the short answer is that you know, what I like to see is pick a part of your throw that you need to work on. Maybe that's uh, you know, your release of the shot. And you're going to do, say, you know, 15 to 20 easy releases. Then you're going to do your 15 to 20 full throws. And then you're going to do some easy releases and some release drills and technique stuff at the end of practice. So yeah, you're not able to do 30 throws, 30 full throws, but you can still work on your issue, work on your technique, do your full throws where you're concentrating on working on the, the technique and the issue that you're having, and then drill it at the end as well. And that'll be a nice full day of practice. Instead of doing 30 throws, do your drills, your throws, and some more drills, technique stuff. Pretty simple, pretty, pretty basic answer. But the real issue is, okay, why are you having trouble taking 30 throws a day? What is it? And it comes down to, in my opinion, your work capacity, your body's ability to do work, your body's capacity to do work. And it's something that I mentioned in a video a long time ago that I call explosive endurance. Now, most people, this doesn't make sense. Explosive endurance, explosiveness, as we've drawn out here, is the exact opposite end of the spectrum from endurance. If you just look at typical reps, reps that you would do in a gym, you know, if you were doing, say, three sets of 20 reps, 20 reps would be focusing on endurance. As the reps decrease, your strength and your explosiveness increases. So strength endurance, more of a bodybuilder style workout, is going to be somewhere in that 10 to 15 rep range. Strength, a strength-based workout, is going to be somewhere in the lower reps of about 5 to 8 rep range. So that's where we see things like uh, you know, your basic 5x5 five five program, uh, you're dealing you know, three sets of six, five sets of five, you know, your warm-up sets are going to be sets of ten, sets of eight, sets of six. So you're going to be basically working with heavy weight for lower reps. And then at the other end of the spectrum, we see explosiveness. Now explosiveness, I define as less than five reps. So, for example, Olympic lifting movements, where you're doing a clean off the ground for one or two reps. Box jumps, where you're jumping up onto a high box for, say, three to five reps. Hurdle hops, where you're jumping over hurdles, but there's only three to five hurdles in a row. You would never do hurdle hops for, say, 20 hurdles in a row. You would never do repeat box jumps, you know, 15 to 20 jumps in a row. Jumping lunges. 15 to 20 jumps in a row. That would be training endurance. You'd be taking an explosive movement and trying to put an endurance quality on it. And we know that explosiveness, and the more and more reps you do, the slower and slower and slower you get. And that is not the point of explosive training. So if you take this and put this into, say, an explosive movement, an explosive event like the throwing events, then we need to find out, okay, why is this athlete not able to do 30 explosive movements over the course of, say, an hour and a half to a two-hour practice? Why can't they do 30 throws without getting fatigued, without getting tired? And it comes down to explosive endurance, your work capacity, your ability to do work. Your ability to be explosive and to be at a high strength level for a long period of time. Most of the time, it doesn't make sense. But we're going to show you how you can train it. So we talked about, uh, for example, the hurdle hops or box jump. Oh, I like the hurdle hops. Hurdle hops are one of my favorite exercises. 
So hurdle hops, say you're going to have five hurdles. Two, three, four, five hurdles right in a row. And you're going to tell your athletes or you're going to give yourself a workout. And you're going to say, okay, to work on my explosiveness, to work on my ballistic strength, we're going to do hurdle hops. We're going to jump over five hurdles five times in a row. So you're going to start here. Boing, 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 boing. That's five jumps. And you're going to do those five jumps five times. So that, in total, over the course of time, you're doing 25 reps, 25 jumps in total. Not right in a row, but five sets of five jumps, 25 reps. Pretty basic. Now, we've got to say to ourselves, how do we increase work capacity? How do we increase the amount of reps that you're doing without sort of becoming enduring? Because, again, we're not going to do 10 hurdles in a row. We're not going to do 8 hurdles in a row. How do we do this? Many coaches, many athletes, unfortunately, have that mindset. Okay, we're going to do explosive jumps for 12. We're going to do explosive jumps for 10. We're going to do power cleans, sets of 10. We're going to do uh, hang cleans, sets of 10. We're going to do push press, sets of 10 to 12. Guys, an explosive movement, you cannot put an endurance rep range on an explosive movement. Well, if we need to increase the amount of total reps that we do, and we can't increase the amount of reps per set, what do we increase? We increase the set. So now, instead of doing, say, five sets of five, which is going to give you 25 reps, let's do seven sets of four. Seven sets of four. So we're going to completely erase one hurdle. Get rid of one hurdle. And now we're just going to be jumping over one, two, three, four hurdles. This hurdle is no longer there. Seven sets of four hurdles It's 28 reps. Okay. Seven sets of four, 28. What's the next step? What's the next increase? Once your body gets used to being explosive for seven sets of four, what's the next increase? What's the next step? Well, next step, why don't we do 10 sets of three? There's your 30 reps. So you can do this, kind of take this same principle and apply it to what you might be doing in the weight room. You can take this same principle and apply it to what you're doing with medicine ball throws. You can take the same principle and apply it to what you do for your sprints. Instead of running five repeat sprints for a certain distance that's a longer distance, let's do more total sprints for shorter distance. And the total of that is going to increase your work capacity without sacrificing your explosiveness. This should hopefully be making sense to you. Now, one of the other things that we kind of need to address here is that in the weight room and with medicine balls, when you are dealing with a loadable implement, something that has a heavier weight, okay, you have to say, well, now that instead of doing 10 sets of three, you know, we're doing that instead of five sets of five, well, now that I'm doing three, you know what? I can increase the weight a little bit. I can make the hurdles a little bit taller. I can make the medicine ball a little bit heavier. I can make the sled that I'm dragging on the ground a little bit heavier. I can make the prowler that I'm pushing on the ground a little bit heavier. So now not only are you increasing the amount of work capacity that you're doing, not only are you increasing the amount of sets that you were doing, but now because you have added rest in between these sets, you can increase the amount of weight that you do. And this is going to solve a lot of issues. We've got a lot of questions every day coming in like this. People saying, my work capacity, essentially, my work capacity sucks. 
I can't get through a full day of practice without getting tired and falling apart. I can't get through a full day in the weight room without getting tired and falling apart. And what we say is, more, 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 more. Which is somewhat true, but not more reps. More reps will lead to strength endurance and endurance. And that, in an explosive event, is not what we need. We need more sets, less reps, even though it's still going to add up to a higher work capacity. Just make sure you're doing your math correct. If you're doing five sets of five, don't move down to seven sets of three. Seven sets of three is only going to be 21 reps. Don't move down to, you know, eight sets of three because that's only going to be 24. We want to make sure the math works out correctly so the total work that you do for each exercise is higher with lower amounts of reps. So hopefully this makes sense and answers a lot of questions out there. All right, guys, thanks so much for the questions. Make sure we're right smack in the middle of track season. We should see a lot of people somewhere in that range right now. So if you have questions, if you have comments, if you have anything that you'd like to know or need any help involving track and field, training, conditioning, whatever you need, that's what I'm here for. Make sure to leave your questions down below this YouTube video in the comment section or email me, matt at primalatc.com. Talk to you soon.